Hi there, I am Paul Auger and I am the lead trainer for Taming.Tech. In this video, what we're going to be doing is looking at changing your Google Photos from your personal photos to your Google Workspace. The reason why this is important is as from the 1st of June 2021, all your Google Photos storage is going to change. So if you had 15 gigs of, of storage orig originally, now your photographs that you upload are actually going to start counting towards your storage and then it will actually start charging you eventually for your storage. Now, if you've got your personal and, you, and you've got your workspace, chances are that on your workspace, you have a lot more space. I have probably two terabytes of space in my workspace, and I'd rather do that. I'd rather have all my photographs there. So let's look at what we've got over here. This is the notice that came up and says that this is what we're changing and this is why we're changing. And if you've got photos already there, it won't be affected it won't count towards your 15 gigs of storage but after that it will actually start counting to your 15 gigs of storage now it does say that mine will last me more than four years but what i've actually tried to do is actually move all my stuff from my personal gmail into my workspace just so it's easier to to manage and to handle and i don't have to play with different um chrome pr uh, profiles and things like that i'm basically using this as a motivation to get this done now, if your, your personal Gmail account is getting up to the end of that 15 gigs, it will actually go quickly. When you start having your photographs and your videos uploaded, you could actually start getting that quite quickly. So I want to do this beforehand, before I'm actually forced to do it and try and do this properly. This video is included in a Google Workspace course that is hosted on Udemy. Click in the description below for a special discount link so that you can actually do this and become more efficient with your Google Workspace. The reason why I suggest doing it now, we're actually in February and this happens in June, is depending on how much space you're actually taking in your Google Photos, it might take a while to do it. And if you wanna do this for free, which we're going to do now, this might take a while. I have two profiles open right now. This is my personal Gmail, and this behind here is my Workspace account. So based on these two things, we're going to try and get them sorted and moved from my personal to my workspace. So we're gonna be using this website called Malt Cloud, put multiple clouds into one. And there is a free plan and there is a paid for plan. So let's go to the pricing here and you'll see the free plan, we can get 30 gigs of data per month and the monthly then starts at $9.90 for 150 gigs. Now, depending on how you want to do this and whether or not you wanna spend money or if you left this too late and you need to get it all moved over now. The only differences are the amount of traffic per month, which is 150, 200 or unlimited, and the synchronization modes here. So there's two synchronization modes, there's eight, there's eight, and you can only run a single sync task at a time. So it takes a little bit longer, but let's sign in and let's do this. So I'm gonna say sign up for free and you can either create your account by typing all your details in here, or you can continue with Facebook or Google. I'm just gonna continue with Google and I'm gonna continue with that account, which is my workspace account and say allow. So now it says here, add to a cloud. And this is just the wizard to show you how everything goes. And you can say, create a task and you can say, switch the new multi, -cl uh, multi cloud. So let's try and do this. Let's actually switch to the new multi cloud because by the time you're watching this, it might have a different interface. What are we going to do? We're going to add a cloud first. And we are going to add a cloud, which is the Google Photos, okay, which is over here. And we're gonna say display name, Google Photos. And I'm gonna say this is workspace Google Photos. And I say add Google Photos. And I'm now gonna sign in using my workspace account. Say allow. And right now it says here, we've got albums and photos and sharing. And if I go into my workspace, you see under here, there's nothing. So there's no photos, under albums, there's nothing, and under sharing, there's nothing. So what I'm going to now do is I'm going to add another cloud, and it's gonna be Google Photos again, and this time I'm gonna say personal, and say add Google Photos, and it says what account, so I'm gonna use another account, which is gonna be my Gmail account. It's gonna ask permission again. Perfect. So now we've got personal and workspace. Now what we need to do is we now need to move it from personal to workspace. So if I go into personal and go into photos, for instance, this might take a bit of time depending on how many photos you actually have. The simplest way to actually do this would be to do a cloud sync. 
and you can do a one-way sync or a two-way sync. And there's also advanced sync modes. And what you'll see with those little advanced sync modes, like a little um, upgrade icon over here. So let's just do a one-way sync. So it's gonna take everything from my personal G Gmail into my workspace account. So let's go from, and let's say from personal, and let's say photos, and say okay. And we're gonna say to, and we're gonna to go to the workspace, and we're gonna say photos. And please note that it only allows you to store images and videos and, sorry, let me just click that again, and other media files, but doesn't allow to store directories. So I'm gonna say okay. You can also do multi-select if you want, and you can say, I want to do all of these, um, but let's just do one at a time right now. This is gonna take the Google Photos from our personal and put into my workspace Google Photos. We can have a couple of options at the bottom here. We can schedule it, and we can say run once every day or run weekly or run monthly, and you can actually have this as a one-way sync. So I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna do it here. So I'm not gonna do a schedule, I'm gonna do it now. And I'm gonna do options. And over here you see more options, so one-way and two-way sync. And then under one-way sync, you have options here, mirror sync, and you can read more about this if you wanna start paying for it. But we are going to do just a simple sync. We're going to automatically rename files which contain special characters. Okay, and generate a script file. Okay, under email, we're gonna say send a notification. I'm going to send it to myself. And then under filter it is an upgrade thing. We can ignore certain ones of these files. Okay. So let's push save. And we can also click on task one and we can say photos to photos. Okay. And say sync. That then goes into task list over here. And you can see exactly what's happening. While we're waiting for that, let's start the next one. So let's say another cloud sync and say from, and we're gonna do from personal albums to workspace albums. And we can do the same thing. Let's say email and say save, and we're gonna call this albums. Say sync now. Let's go back to the task list and see how this is working. And I'll pause this for right now and come back just now and see how this goes. And now what you'll see is that it is synchronizing. Okay, it says that it's processed 400 megs so far. It's done 215 files out of 30,000. And the start time is today's date. It's only going at five or 700 kilobytes a second. So not particularly fast, but that's why I'm saying, do it now, don't wait. Um, if you don't have enough transfer data for this month and you've got more than 30 gigs of data, then you can do it next month. So that's why I'm suggesting do it as soon as possible so that you can actually get it done. Um, and what we were originally talking about with the upgrade over here, it is waiting because there only is one synchronization at a time. And remember, if you are gonna upgrade, it's not particularly expensive. And if you just do it for one month of $9 or $10, um, you can then get everything done. It does 150 gigs of data all in one month. So this is not just about Google Photos. If you are looking to synchronize something else, if you're looking to add uh, your Google Drive and you want to back up your Google Drive into your Dropbox, if you want to back up your Google Drive into OneDrive or anywhere, you can do that. You can also put onto a NAS uh, device, you can put onto a Mediafire, even a web app. So this is a really, really powerful system. And for $10 a month, you get 150 gigs of data, and it really, really is powerful. So if you do have any questions about this, please chuck them into the comments below. So if you did enjoy this video, hope you can like it and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.